Well, the first thing it was American Gangster. What they did was they took a real story. They can able to they can go through and take real stories of deep black people, and they can make it into rituals. So, in two, uh, so Ridley Scott did Gladiator in nineteen in two, in two thousand with Russell Crowe playing Maximus the hero, the Gladiator. So now in two thousand seven, Ridley Scott does American Gangster with Russell Crowe playing the gladiator, slaying Denzel, who was Joaquin Phoenix uh, character, because he was over Rome, but Denzel was over the dope thing, you see what I'm saying, over Harlem, our capital, and you know, so taking down Denzel, then both of them coming together to, you know, in the movie they came together at the end, of, and, and, and the rest of the third of the police officers, that was just, that was Diamond Hunsu's character as the slave that was along with Maximus in the movie Gladiator. So they made a modern day gladiator out of heart. You see what I'm saying? So, but but also uh, also um Viacom bought BET in 2002 to basically turn the black race into a gangster race. Slavery for extermination. So now they got an American gangster on there and they showing all these things on what we did and all the crime stuff. And and all the stuff. So and basically, basically uh they took Tupac, who although he had his thing, but he was conscious. Tupac was conscious. As a matter of fact, before the year before Tupac died, he stayed drunk more than he was sober because he couldn't take the contradictions of what was going on with the people and, the, and all of the, our plight. So all the stuff that he stood for, that's why they put up a 50 cent. So the new people come up and they go, oh, do Tupac was a thug like 50 cent? No. Tupac was not like 50 cent, but they take 50 cent and make him this thug and he survives getting shot when Tupac dies. So they put all this stuff in this stuff, and basically they took, BET was bought by Viacom to exploit black people across the board. So American Gangster, which is the TV show, is also in collaboration with American Gangster the movie, and then American Gangster the, the, the CD done by Jay-Z, which Jay-Z admitted that his music was to dumb down black America. He admitted that, because why? Because the people who the people who gave him all these contracts is a bunch of middle-aged white men. They showed it on CBS. Yeah, that's all it's about 20 of these middle-aged white men and they got they give him all this stuff and make him rich, but the whole thing is to dumb down black America by not saying nothing on these tapes. So therefore, Jay-Z, which is the king, and also 50 Cent now, 50 Cent now, which is 10, their music is about nothing. So therefore, the young people and stuff, it's all about bling bling and gangster this and that. And BET is a network that's run by white people now to savage that. 